which is why if she is not getting pregnant in a bedroom, she will require assistance. Some patients not only have good ovarian reserve, they have the luxury of time. Understand that time is at a premium for them. They really don't have the luxury of trying cycle after cycle. <laughs> Older patients and IVF. The problem with getting older, as far as the wife is concerned, is that your ovarian reserve starts declining. Because every woman is born with a certain number of eggs, and as she keeps on getting older, with every menstrual cycle, these eggs will start getting ovulated, as a result of which the ovarian reserve will decline. And because of this process of follicular atresia, she will end up with much fewer eggs when she's 40 as compared to when she's 30 which is why if she is not getting pregnant in a bedroom, she will require assistance. Now for a young patient, we can often do simpler treatment options, for example, ovulation induction with letrozole or clomiphene or other medical forms of therapy, or we can consider IUIs because young patients not only have good ovarian reserve, they have the luxury of time, which means they can afford to try simpler treatment options. And if that doesn't work, they can consider doing more complex, more expensive treatment options like IVF. The problem with older women is not only are their pregnancy rates with simpler treatment options like IUI much less because their ovarian reserve is much less. They also understand that time is at a premium for them. They really don't have the luxury of trying cycle after cycle because as they keep on getting older, their ovarian reserve will keep on declining. And after 35, the ovarian reserve starts declining quite steeply. After 38, the drop is really dramatic and after 40, it is. So that after a particular age, it's not just a question of one month. Even a few months can make a world of difference. You need to be aware of this and you need to track your ovarian reserve so you can make well-informed decisions for yourself.